morning. Today is Tuesday the 9th of July. My name's Carla and I'm coming to you from the east coast of the North Island of Aotearoa, New Zealand. And this is my channel about gardening. Welcome back and welcome to anyone new. Um, so like I said, it's Tuesday the 9th of July 2024 and I'm off work because I work in a school and I'm about to go outside and look at what I can get done. It looks like it's going to rain and I didn't actually think it was forecast for rain today. But um, anyway, we're going to go outside and we're going to have a look at what I did yesterday and what I'd like to do today. Right. So yesterday I spent a lot of time cleaning up around here. <laughs> Um, those of you who have watched before will know that for quite a few months we had two big bins here which are those ones there and a whole lot of rings of fire wood that needed to be split so we've had the splitter here that's been split I've raked the driveway the best I can we're actually going to have someone come and um, put more metal down soon but I need to give it a spray kill the weeds that is going to be burnt so this is all the stuff that's just been split and then there's that bit there and then that's the stuff we've had from last year now up here we had a clothesline but it was in a really stupid place because in the winter when you'd need to have covered clothesline the firewood was there so I've actually cut the wires and I'm going to attach them up here and have it go all the way along here, along the back. I don't care if people can see. Um, today I'm going to tackle down here. I've just looked at the weather forecast, so it's supposed to be fine. Um, these things need to go on the back shed. I had a massive clean up in the back shed, which I can't show you because I left the keys inside. Um, and these, are, this is the remnants. Found three dead rats, so they are cleaned up in there. Um, there's a whole lot of rubbish that's got to be dealt with, and I do have some burnable stuff that's gone in the drum. Um, and that's some of my daughter's things <laughs> that she needs to collect. So this is how we're looking. It's a bit of a mess, but hopefully by the next few days it'll be spick and spran. Got the clothesline up. Check it out. Right, so I'll shuffle some of this stuff. Because I do have some sheets I'd like to hang out. Ta -da! You guys probably don't realise how excited I am about this. <laughs> out of breath now so that's what I've done so far <laughs> I've just opened this drain up and cleared all the mud out of that so all this green stuff will go on the compost same with the trimmings the canes from the blackberry it's thornless blackberry and yeah so I'm going to actually give this a light sand and I'm just going to put a coat of grey around the window I think this is only ever being undercoated, so might as well protect it, eh? So there's the first coat around the trims, around the windows. <coughs> so the next move will be to clear all this now, but I think I need to sort out something to eat. I was hungry and I haven't had breakfast. Hello. Just had a bath. I 
think I was out for another hour working after I came back from getting my brunch and then I just sort of ran out of steam so I went inside I had a little nap that was about midday and um, I woke up and I was freezing so I had a lovely soak in the bath with some Epsom salts and rosemary and I thought I would just pick up the odd but it looks like we're going to get some rain even though we're not supposed to be but we are quite grey and it's cold I thought I'll come out and show you what I did do and get some firewood and light fire I think so I'll turn you around oh, see these sheets are dry so this is the progress so we've got they've all had their top coat around them they look quite smart so I'll wash down the walls later maybe tomorrow and when I've moved those sheets off the line I'll bring this through I just don't want to get the grass on the sheets So that should look real good when it's finished and they're just going to tidy up down the end. Ooh, look. I wouldn't mind painting that pot um, the same colour as that. Maybe I'll plant something there that you can see through the window. It'd be quite nice. Or even on the opposite side of the window, to be honest across the fence <laughs> um yeah so I feel really happy with what I've achieved over the last few days hey what well, this was a massive job because I had to move or well, even helped me a little bit but most of to fill those bins up and then I did all the clearing and cleaning Oh, there's a bit of rubbish to get rid of. For some reason, crap just builds up. 